Crystal here from Crystal's Quail and Cocktails. Um, so I started lighting my birds recently and some of the males are starting to crow. Um, so I was going to move them out this weekend, but after Frank's behavior, uh, he is a boy that I have. Um, he beat up three girls real bad. So I'm feeling like I don't want to tempt fate and I should move these birds out uh, quickly. So I have a couple that are banded already. Um, my celadon quail that I've talked about before, they're not feather sexable. So the only way you know if they're a boy or a girl is when they crow or when they lay an egg. Um, you can't um, accurately vent sex a quail unless they are uh, getting busy or laying eggs. So, um, yeah. So, it's going, since these birds all mostly look the same, it's going to be very difficult for me to know who I've already pulled out and who I haven't. So, I might have to move all the birds into one cage and then pull them out from there. And if they're a boy, then they're going to go into the bachelor pad, which is a, it's one layer of a cage. And I built a stand basically out of pallets and I covered it with a tarp. Um, but it's kept quite a, like, I don't know how many feet because I'm not good at that guessing that. But it's kept further away. That way the boys aren't disturbing my neighbors um, when they crawl. So, um, and generally boys are more noisy if they don't have enough girlfriends or if. Yeah, basically if they don't have enough girlfriends. But sometimes you'll get an abnormally noisy boy. One time in all the years I've been doing it, I had one really noisy boy. Alright, let's get started. This is a big bird. Fat. Usually the females are the bigger birds. Yeah, this one you can't tell. Alright, so basically when you would vent sex them, you would look at their vent and if there's like white foam then it's then it is a male. So since so basically either I can't tell or it's a female. So I went ahead and took the bit out of her beak and you just take a pair of scissors, sharp scissors, and clip it and then it'll just fall out. So this will also help me know, did I already check? So this is either a girl or a late blooming boy. So here we have a boy that I've already been able to confirm, either because he crowed, and usually I confirm with vent sexing. So here you'll see the boys, so, sorry, see that, there's a little bit of poop there, but there's also white foam, so that means he's a boy. Okay, here's another one. This guy looks, let's say, a little more backed up. Okay. 
so see how this is swollen this part of the vent here that is definitely indication of a boy and then you have white foam all right so i guess i don't have to particularly show you everyone um i'm going to band the boys with blue the zip ties um, that's going to indicate to me that I've checked them and that they're males. Um, if I can't tell, they're not going to be banded. And I'm going to take bits out, maybe. Maybe. I haven't quite decided. 